you know, I found that many of your ideas and presentations were very challenging and dangerous to the uh, limits that I felt on my mind, but I don't feel especially terrified sitting across from you talking with you. I don't feel like you're any danger to me. No, no, I'm a nice man. Uh, that's part of the strategy. <laughs> I'm the doorkeeper to deep, dark water uh, that everybody explores on their own. I am not a guru. I have no particular acts of my own to grind, or at least not with great vigor. Uh, I, the point to be made here is that psychedelics are not an ideology or a position. They are an experience, and an experience is something that we have very intimately ourselves. So it's not something you can teach people or uh, draw too many general conclusions from. It's an experience, but it's an experience that I feel uh, people should have. And when I see a political system or a set of cultural values that are denying people this experience, then I feel like some kind of human rights abuse is taking place. The tension between uh, so-called straight culture and psychedelic culture is a tension over uh, values. Uh, psychedelics challenge the assumptions of any cultural or political system, and that makes them dangerous to every cultural and political system. So if there's anything, uh, a Marxist uh, dictatorship, a high-tech industrial democracy, or a theocracy, they can all get together on one thing, which is psychedelic drugs or a knife poised at the heart of community values. Well, this is just simply nonsense. And then all the reasons brought forth are in a sense uh, a red herring. The psychedelics are among the safest substances known for human ingestion. Considering the depth of their impact on human mental functioning, the fact that you pick yourself up six, seven, eight hours later and uh, go on about your business with an expanded point of view is quite remarkable. People have a right to get stoned. They have a right to think and explore their own minds. This is as intimate a part of their being as their sexuality. Uh, and uh, in any culture which mitigates that is clearly afraid of a full and fair and open dialogue about what reality is and what real human values ought to be. I think anybody who takes a number of psychedelic trips will eventually earn their oak leaves. I mean, there you can spend difficult evenings. People who dismiss this as recreational drugs or hedonism or escapism absolutely do not know what they're talking about. This can be very challenging and, and difficult work. That's uh, The ocean kayaking metaphor is more appropriate. I think. Don't think meditation and yoga are the same enterprise as taking psychedelics. They are, are often sold as the same enterprise. But in fact, nobody goes to the ashram with their knees knocking in terror over what is about to sweep over them. On the other hand, if you're taking high doses of psilocybin or DMT, this would be a perfectly reasonable uh, response. Uh, I'm interested in everything. I, to my mind, the psychedelic agenda means visiting the most remote parts of the world reading the most forgotten and obscure literatures uh, and having the most uh, extreme experiences that one can uh, enjoy safely.